Greetings, everyone. My name is Nancy Washburn, and I would like to dedicate this video to honor World Fish Migration Day, creating awareness of the importance of open rivers and migratory fish all over the world. It is indeed one of snorkeling's greatest thrills to be surrounded by hundreds of these 20 by 30 pound creatures, both king or chinook and coho, something you have to experience to believe. You must enter the river quietly and make yourself a part of the environment. The fish soon accept you and I was thrilled to come within a foot or less of spawning salmon, so consumed by their ritual that to them I was non-existent. The season of spawning salmon, a migration that starts in late September, is one of Michigan's most cherished nature events. Salmon are driven by an overpowering instinct to reproduce in the tributary in which they were born. Immature salmon this urge is brought on by shorter days and lower temperatures. Needless to say, I got some fabulous video of tussling chinooks and bright red coho. The males and the females, to a much lesser extent, go through some astounding anatomical changes in their jaws, developing a strong hook that is called a kite. With this strong hook, they look like hawks when you view them underwater, and I can only say that the sight is mesmerizing. Because the salmon spawning beds are so near the surface, you can actually observe a great deal by standing or kneeling behind a tree or bush and watching the entire courtship from there. The male vibrates his entire body every few seconds to simulate the female, and she spawns by tailing that is lying on her side, laying the eggs and vigorously slapping her tail against the gravel bottom. The process culminates with the gaping, which I was very fortunate to capture on video. Snorkeling a rushing river surrounded by fall color and hundreds of salmon in the complete wilderness is an exhilarating experience that you're going to treasure for the rest of your life. Another wonderful migratory fish that you are going to find in Michigan waters are steelhead. Genetically rainbow trout and steelhead are the same species, a fact that has compelled scientists to treat the species as a single population. I would want to be an experienced snorkeler before tackling a river, but I actually found the task quite manageable. The trick is to stay near the sides if the current is strong and go into only the areas of the river that are shallow. Then look around for strong branches and stumps to grab onto. I never had a problem with finding ways to stop. More often the problem came when the water became too shallow. Once you get used to it, it's a thrill a minute. I never for a second felt in any danger, and there's so much to see, from a little fry trying to swallow an egg, to a mature salmon near the end of its life cycle. I snorkeled the Manistee River after a week of no rain, and it was so gin clear that I thought I was in the Caribbean with the lush green vegetation and long stretches of creamy white sand. You are going to love it. Join our virtuous circle of exploration, education, and conservation. Freshwater Discovery opens a magic world for the entire family. Give it a try near you.